Our main mandate, as the chairman has said, is to assure you this morning that we as the directors of this company do not believe that we are insolvent or we are indeed near where, near anywhere that we can be classified as bankrupt. We are not, and we will give reasons for that. As on the company over the last uh, two years, have identified some areas of weakness, internal control weaknesses, um, policy inconsistencies, and, and those kind of things. So, as as I think we mentioned in the statement, we've we've um, we've uh, initiated a forensic audit with Ernst and Young. I think it was in the paper, and that forensic audit is focused on those areas where we think there could be leakages of either product, cash, uh, sensitive information, and with stakeholders, the board has recommended a structured financing program to address the short and long-term requirements including growth and expansion programs. This is a three-pronged financial injection program which would include debt restructuring, and stabilizing operations in the short term to medium term. Number two, inviting financial investors and development financial institutions to partner in the growth and expansion programs. And three, extracting value from idle assets by working closely with the government on its development programs in the areas that we have available land. I want to read that one again. Number three, extracting value from idle assets by working closely with the government on its development programs in the areas that we have available land. It's actually a dream team of directors. If you're in the cement business, you can't. As a chair, and as a longtime Kenyan resident, but we've got great people. And so there's no reason at all that this thing shouldn't come together quickly. Uh, we'll have a plan, uh, that, a bankable, a bankable plan.